Hello there, nice slice here. Coming at you from the great white north. Today we're in the capital city of beautiful British Columbia. I did do a quick short video on Monday as I was on a ferry coming across the Strait of Juan de Fuca from the lower mainland of British Columbia over to Vancouver Island. It was a very nice trip. It was a beautiful day. And today I walked all over Victoria and a friend of mine and I, we scoured a few pawn shops. And I'll tell you, I think I got lucky today. First pawn shop we went to, I found a Spyderco Delica. And the fellow was asking $65 for it. It was in good shape. The edge was good. It had definitely been used. It did have a brand new pocket clip to go with it. The one that was on it was quite worn. So I talked him into selling that one to me for 50 Canadian dollars. Very good price for that knife. I do believe they retail brand new for about 120 bucks up here in Canada. So we carried on from there and we went into another pawn shop where I found a Mel Pardew designed bench made grip Tillion with S30V steel polymer handle of course with the Benchmade axis lock and it was almost brand new condition that fellow was asking 109 Canadian dollars for it so I did a little bartering with him and he ended up paying me 60 Canadian dollars for the Delica and I gave him 30 more on top of that for the Benchmade so we carried on and we found another pawn shop and this is what I came across in that store. The fellow had a bunch of case knives in a display case and he had the boxes for them. We'll start with this one. This is a Sodbuster Mini, Sodbuster Junior, sorry the black Delrin handle, stainless steel. And as you can see, this one was manufactured 2002. Still, it's an original box, never used condition. Still comes with this nice pamphlet from Case. Explaining all about the knife you've just purchased. It's a nice touch. They do have a limited lifetime warranty. And this is the Sodbuster Junior. Delrin handle. Very, very good condition, this knife. I'm in a hotel room right now, so I'm not at Kitchen Table Studios today. I'm over here on business, but I thought I'd do a video while I'm here. As you can see, this knife is in excellent condition. The brass maybe could be polished up. I've been wanting a sod buster, a case sod buster for quite some time. I couldn't find one in Canada. I would have had to order it from the States. And uh, the lowest price I could find was at DLT or Smoky Mountain Knife Works for the yellow synthetic handled sod buster. And that would have been 30 US dollars so roughly 40 Canadian dollars plus shipping, which is prohibitive, which is why I did not purchase one of those. It would have cost almost as much as the knife to get it shipped to my door in Canada. Plus I would have to pay duty, most likely as it came across the border. So for me, it just didn't happen. But this, the fellow had this, a $30 Canadian price attached to this one. So I looked at this one and I set it aside. Let's have a look at the blade. 
You hear that nice snap open? And I can tell you, this knife has never been used. Look at that. Incredible condition for a 20 year old knife. You may have seen my other video on the Folding Hunter. That was a 40 year old knife and it definitely seen a lot of use of that knife. If you watch my, my channel, you'll know which knife I'm talking about. There's, see if we can get that. There we go. Model number, the case code 2137. I'll have to look that one up, but it does have the SS for the stainless steel. This is not the Crow Van steel. And there's tang stamp. That'll be the date. But we already know this is 2002, so this knife is 20 years old. I did notice the blade is quite off-centered. I didn't let that deter me from buying it because I would never get a deal on that again. So there's the sod buster. This is the one that really caught my eye in the display case. It's a mini trapper amber jigged bone. And this knife is also from 2003. So this is basically a 20 year old knife now in its original box. And this knife is in mint condition. It also has the pamphlet. Now let's look at this one. This is a beautiful knife. As you can see. I don't have many bone handled knives. I have a buck canoe that's bone. I have a boker trapper that's bone. Now I have a case mini trapper with the jigged bone handle. Fantastic knife. Two blades, let's start with the clip point. You can see this knife also has never been used. Mint condition, like I said. There's the case date stamp, which they change every 10 years. Here's the spay blade. The case USA, and this would be the model number stamped on this one. 6267. So I know the first number is the handle material. The second number is the number of blades. The last two are the model number. I did find that out when I was working on that folding hunter. This knife, the fellow at the pawn shop had a 60 Canadian dollar price tag on it. Which is still an excellent price because these, the cheapest I could find one again was at Smoky Mountain Knife Works and that was almost $60 US which works out to be about 75 Canadian dollars, maybe closer to 80. I'm not quite sure with the exchange right now. But I've also seen them for sale on Canadian websites for closer to $90 because of the shipping and duty that our retail stores have to pay to get them shipped up here. But if you remember the start, what I was talking about, I bought Spider Co. for 50. I bartered it for $60 to 
to the other pawn shop and paid an extra 30 for the bench made. So now I've only spent $30 and I traded that bench made for these two knives. So it was quite a successful day in my eyes. And I got to explore a beautiful city, Victoria, British Columbia. It's a harbor city right on the, the ocean. And I just wanted to share that story with you guys today. So here is the Case Mini Trapper Amber Jig Bone with the Case Sodbuster Jr. with the black Delrin handle. There you have it.